Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. 2024 is building up to be another eventful year in Emmerdale Village, with tensions seething beneath the surface of several prominent families on the verge of bursting. And it all begins this spring. Ruby Fox Milligan has made an enemy of almost everyone she has met paths with since joining the ITV serial. Isn't it only a matter of time before she takes things too far? With Maddie Barton and Amy Wyatt's wedding in threat due to her mother Carrie's actions, we believe she will have a lot of explaining to do in the future. As an old face enters Will Taylor's, Dean Andrews, Life, Don, and Billy Fletcher, Jay Consul are about to get a devastating prognosis for their son even. Plus, as Tom King's cruel and manipulative behavior with wife Belle Dingle becomes violent, we wouldn't want to be in his shoes when her brother Kane discovers out. So, from the upcoming special episodes to a catastrophic accident that will divide the community, here's what you can expect in the next months. Emmerdale has planned a very special episode that will examine both the public and private aspects of Tom and Belle's relationship. Boss Laura Shaw told us, The real-life stories that we've been given access to, and the knowledge and time we've spent with charities like Refuge, have showed how quickly these connections can turn physical. So that's what we'll see happen next with those two. Throughout our narrative, we've been trying to find fresh and imaginative ways to tell this tale. And we have a special episode coming up in which we do what everyone seems to appreciate and break away from our typical Emmerdale structure and do things a little differently. So it's a dinner party concentrating primarily on Bill and Tom, as well as Marlon Dingle and Rona Goskirk. We'll see what happens in their relationships, but in a unique way that allows us to see behind closed doors. I'll allow you to figure out what that might be. Actress So Henry added, Rona's disgusting. All I'll say is that we get extremely intoxicated. You know the saying, sober man's mind, drunken man's tongue. We shot the entire episode in two days. It was like filming a play with only eight characters, she added. Mark Charnock responded, All I can say about it is I've never done anything like that episode. Consider ourselves curious. Will Tom finally get what he deserves over the years? We've witnessed the wool pack erupt and be struck by lightning, a villager being crushed by a caravan, numerous automobile accidents, an aircraft catastrophe, and the helicopter crash. But in the coming weeks, another stunt will shake things up in the Dales. When a terrible event leaves one of the residents fighting for their life, two large families will be brought together. Whether they live or die, we'll see. Laura has been added. The ripples and effects of that accident will be long-term and life-changing for many of our villagers. Could Kane learn about Tom's cunning behavior and plan to kill him? Will someone else be left battling for their life Dawn and Billy will be heartbroken in Emmerdale when their baby even is diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia? The happy couple, who welcomed Evan into the world at the end of last year, will struggle to cope with the news as their entire family is thrown into disarray in the aftermath. This is an extremely difficult and painful narrative, but it is so necessary for Emmerdale to tell, said actress Olivia Bromley. I've learned so much since working with leukemia care and interacting with parents whose children have been diagnosed. And we want to not only promote awareness, but also honor the experiences of families who are caught off guard by a diagnosis like this. Laura went on to say, with this story, we wanted to show the stress and strain that a long-term illness can put on a family. What we'll see is that family roles shift overnight and out of nowhere, and we'll witness how they're affected, as well as the stress it puts on everyone else. She went on to say, We'll consider the financial strain that a family with a long-term ailment like this can face. That's a significant story for us moving forward. Will gets a blast from the past this week when an old acquaintance, Rose, returns to his life, and it's safe to assume he's eager to keep her a secret from wife Kim Tate. Laura described Rose, portrayed by Sopicon Christine Trimarco, as follows. What I can tell you is that she's someone from Will's past, so she'll be hitting the screens shortly and causing a major storm at home farm 
and with Kim Tate. Christine has a wealth of experience and expertise, and I can't wait to see what she does in the community. Christine remarked, It's an amazing pleasure to work with such a beautiful cast and crew, as well as the brilliant writing and production teams. Rose is a lot of fun to play. She is free-spirited, exuberant, and completely mischievous, with a sharp edge and a big heart. We don't want to offend Kim, and we're looking forward to seeing her reaction. Amy and Maddie Barton have encountered various roadblocks on their way to marriage bliss. First, there was Claudette Anderson, Flo Wilson, who was vehemently opposed to their use of the village hall after finding that Maddie was transgender, claiming that two women can't get married. Wedding planner Susie Merton, Martell, Edinburgh, was eager to point out that they could, but Amy clarified that Maddie was not a lady. Do you want to be the first to hear shocking EastEnders spoilers? Who is leaving Coronation Street? What's the latest Emmerdale gossip? Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the latest developments and current stories directly to your phone, ensuring you never miss a storyline again. Join Metro Soap's WhatsApp group to gain access to spoiler galleries, must-see videos, and exclusive interviews. Simply click on this link, then choose Join Chat, and you're in. Don't forget to switch on notifications so you know when we've posted the most recent spoilers. Then we saw Carrie struggling to obtain the money to pay for the ceremony, explaining to Eric Pollard, Chris Chittle, that she took a necklace from an old fiancé she met on a cruise ship and hoped it would be worth millions. Actor Ash Palmisciano has hinted that the couple is in for more trouble. You never know what's around the bend, and things will influence them. With the relevance of the tale and portrayal, there's a strong message there. But who knows? As we just mentioned, there are many interconnected relationships going on. Natalie Ann Jamison added, We're always here for the drama. Fans of the show are confident that serial killer Nina Jubla would return to the eponymous village following a major clue in a previous episode. Ella Forster's arrival in the village has raised concerns among fans that there is more to her character than meets the eye, with many speculating if she has a hidden agenda for visiting Emmerdale. Nobody shows up without at least one secret. After questioning Don and Billy about their tragic wedding day, which was spoiled by Mina, the conjecture intensified when Ella was cagey with her love interest and co-worker Liam Kavanagh, Johnny McPherson, who began to inquire about her friends and family. She jokingly mentioned that an old friend had advised she become a nurse. Could she have actually been referring to Mina? Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.